I'm at a gypsy. Well, I mean, that's sort of where I was going to go next, man, is like, they're sort of, it's like, should there be a little bit more room for people to, you know, you have a guy like Bobby that, that's just a dude that had your back. Like, that's a, mm-hmm. I guess family lines can get blurred a little bit if like everyone yeah. treats everyone like family. Like, there definitely has to be a point where it's like, nah, dude, I'm your fucking boss. But it's yeah. like... I mean, I even think that with, you know, the the way that I try and run shit here, it's like if the boys want to ride, if like people want to go do shit, like people got to mm-hmm. live their life. Like you got to kind of be who you are and you got to like, you can't kind of like chain people down because you're not going to get the best out of them and then you're not going to get uh, that kind of like longevity. So it's like, mm-hmm. I don't know, is there, does there need to be a little bit more room for people to, you know, like dude, when Sexton was on here, he was like, I mean, I don't think Sexton knows like, the extent the party can go but it's like he was like even he's like saying like oh yeah i party like there was this real hesitance that he had to even admit like i did some form of partying in the off season it's like dude you're a good looking 20 something year old kid that's making fucking bank mm-hmm. there'd be that many chicks that want <laughs> would want like there's a certain amount of like exploration that you have to do to just see, you know, like what's available in life. I mean, some dudes aren't drawn to that, but if you are, it's like, fuck man, that's a punishing thing to have to just like stifle if there's, and there is ways where you can do it without being a complete fuck up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, there, there is ways you can do it without being a fuck up, but like, it's tough, you know? And sometimes I think about, I think about this, like right now I'm in a good spot and I've, I, I feel like I still have a lot more race wins in me and everything like that. But I feel like you maybe do give up a little bit. Like if you want to go explore or whatever, you know, different avenues of life and stuff like that. Um, this career is really, really tough. And I feel like, uh, you do give up a little bit, you know, mm. um, And going through it, like, I know, like, 100%, like, I've given up, you know, results or whatever it is. But I've always showed up and I've always gave it my all and everything like that. And and I'm I'm probably the, I think my latter years are going to be the best ever because, you know, not to say I got it out of my system, but I feel like I'm so content with where I'm Mm -hmm. at right now that I don't need to like kind of do that stuff anymore. Like I experienced it and, and I really enjoy my job and stuff like that. But I'm, I wonder what I wonder is like, are people that go through this career, they never explore. And Mm. by the time they retire, they have a family and kids. Do they have that, that door that hasn't been opened inside of their brain to be able to explore? Do they resent themselves for that? you know Mm. and that's something i'll never have to deal with maybe Mm -hmm. they have 40 wins like stacked up but do they feel like personally do they feel like they um Mm. missed out on that you know and would they maybe give give up a little bit of those wins to be able to be like you know um i i saw it (laughs) you know and i didn't like it but then they're like oh what if they really liked it (laughs) and they just want to keep going (laughs) back for more (laughs) Dude, They're I just mean, like, yeah, bottles on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I was that guy. Like, I, I definitely, uh, I'll, I'll admit straight up. Like, there was a period of time where, like, when I was in the U.S., a big part of my identity was around the fact that, like, people knew that I could go to a bar or an after party, and like, mm-hmm. I was a dude that you should hang around because, like, there's gonna be yeah. girls that are hanging around. I thought that was cool. It made me feel really good. Like, I won't lie about it. Now, as a 33 year old man, I can look back and be like, ah, that's kind of fucking lame, you know, like to be that guy. Yeah. But like, I kind of had to go through. I had to go through that. I was super young. I was in a different country, and. I always had it in my head that I did not want to like get married and have kids and do all that without just doing some like crazy shit. Like imagine like, and this might sound fully retarded, but it's like, I always wanted to have a threesome. Like I didn't, I didn't know that I could have ever got married and like, <laughs> and like had threesomes coming up on Pornhub and like be like, man, I wonder how that feels, you know? But then you're like looking at your wife and be like, fuck, you're the reason I can't have this thing. And it's like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Does that sound lame to people? Probably like, and there's probably people that 
that's like not a thing for them but i know there's a lot of people where that is a thing for them and it's like they need to experience those things or they're gonna have exactly what you said like that unopened door so it's like yeah man yeah. i'm i'm right there with you like i'm in that same camp and that's a that's a tough battle to have with yourself just like dude we go through like i said we go through puberty and we're pro you know there's no there's no college era there's no none of that so um it's it's a tough thing and like it's crazy because i always uh, i always think about this is like do humans really do what they want to do you know because like sometimes i feel like if you're like really do what you want to do you wake up and you just like all right i'm gonna go do this like for us like we can we've never had even like right now we don't have weekends like that like we wake up mm. on sunday we go to the airport like we don't really have that at all you know and that's something you just gotta like you never get that until maybe you retire you know so uh it's tough there's all those unopened doors you know but that's um that's uh that's what you give up you know to to be you know a top level guy um, and some give up more and some give up less, but it doesn't necessarily mean giving up. Um, I think that like I'm successful, you know, and I yeah. think I have a good career and I think I have way better stuff to go on and, and I'm completely content at what I was able to experience. But now I'm like, I just want to be creative, do team fried, race dirt bikes, uh, do supercross and motocross. And I don't want that to end um i got my wife i that's awesome i got tom and matt they're my friends and i'm like shit is good right now i don't really need i don't feel the need to go party and stuff like that although there is going to be some weekends that me and my wife are probably going to go get you know turned up a little bit you know <laughs> hit the local chilies get some two for one drinks maybe some chips <laughs> and salsa go crazy but you know that's kind of where i'm at but um i'm i'm lucky that i was able to experience a lot of that stuff yeah you know well, i think um well while not fucking up my career yeah yeah and there's people that have done it <laughs> that have fucked up their career and that's like it is what it is mm -hmm. but i think that too mm -hmm. you know like we would both know guys that have retired that like literally they just don't know who they are they don't have social skills yeah. they don't so it mm -hmm. it's sort of like you could take the full serious like moto fucking journalistic mm -hmm. approach to this and be like well it's about fucking winning and you get paid to fucking win bro like you could be that mm -hmm. guy but then it's like okay cool yeah. i mean that's for like a period of time and it's like yes you can win and yes you can be set up and i agree that they're mm -hmm. all good things to be super successful mm -hmm. to have shit taken care of forever but it's like okay you also should want to have social skills and you should also you know want to have been put in some like kind of weird experiences and i mean some of the fucking best friends that i've got are people that i've been like fucked up with at 3 a.m and like barely hanging yeah. on <laughs> and then you've got mm -hmm. those people that are like bringing you through like you learn you kind of yeah. learn a lot about yourself and not to you don't need to get fucked up to learn about that but just to do these like yeah crazy experiences and if you go through these experiences with you know people it can create these great friendships you learn a lot about like who you are and then you can learn a lot about like oh i've kind of done that now i've kind of moved on from yeah. here and mm -hmm. so I, I just i think it's a bit more valuable than what people maybe make it out for and for some people yeah 100 percent. yeah yeah it's just uh it's just learning about yourself that's all it is and what you like and what you don't like and stuff like that. Cause if you don't experience it, you'll never know if you don't like it, you know? Um, and we, uh, a lot of guys aren't going to be able to, but, um, I think that's something that people should keep in mind sometimes whenever they go about living life. Cause you only got one of them. Yeah, dude, it goes by quick. Mm, it does. <laughs> turn 30 next year i'm so like bummed about that i'm like damn dude it's gone by so quick i'm an old guy in the class now um but i'm like shit i don't see it stopping anytime soon nah man i don't i don't think i think you've like i think you found such a good groove as well with like just where you're at and so i think like i think the monster thing's cool the cowie thing's obviously mm -hmm. working the team fried thing's cool like yeah what you just described like you've kind of got your people around you um and it's mm -hmm. yeah it just seems like you've kind of like figured out like where you're at and it's like dude i don't know that's almost like the start of something in a way you know like when you kind of have your life yeah. semi dialed in it's sort of you might be the old guy 
but it's like you're kind of just now got shit figured out so it's like okay what can you do with this like start like <laughs> yeah. you're at a starting point now you know what i mean mm-hmm. yeah the, i i say i say that all the time is i i i'm 29 right now but I, as a racer and stuff i still feel really young like i just like not that i just got it figured out but i mean dude i won a supercross championship but i personally i didn't have it figured out when i did that yeah yeah you, know, you, you were on top of life. shit yeah <laughs> Yeah, I was not on top of shit, but like now I feel like my life is very figured out and stuff like that. But, um, you know, luckily I got everything set up around me because, you know, the weekends are hectic, you know. Um, I mean, two the last three weekends for me have not gone that good, but it just I'm able to come home. And, and luckily with the team and everything, I'm able to somewhat push my mentality onto them. And they're very, you know, cool mm. with everything that's going on. And, and it, it helps you. um stay out of the bs a little bit you know it's not always cool seeing it but you know my whole my whole life in general is really nice right now so i'm trying to keep it that way if you enjoyed this content please like and subscribe and to listen to the full three-hour podcast search gypsy tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below gypsy gang